Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Uh, today's question comes from uh, a Facebook user and he sent the question over my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, he asked, um, is it uh, okay for us to journal our spiritual progress in the sense uh, today I have prayed for uh, 20 or 30 minutes, uh, I have fasted for 7 weeks, 6 weeks, today I was chased and so on. Uh, thank you for your question, anonymous user. Uh, my gut reaction to this would be a no. Uh, uh, why? Uh, well, because uh, lists only can give you a, a quantity, but not the quality. Uh, as in, uh, we can pray, for example, five hours. Uh, however, that would say uh, nothing... Uh, of our spiritual progress. Um, uh, and our Father prayed, uh, prayed sincerely is of more worth than uh, the entire lifetime of fr fruitless prayer. So, that is my initial uh, problem with uh, such a practice. Um, and um, I thought of the Pharisee from the uh, parable of uh, the Pharisee and the tax collector. Uh, the Pharisee had the entire list. He has completed everything. Um, he, ha uh, as far uh, as he's concerned, he did his to do as regards to God, but he didn't leave the temple justified. But the poor tax collector who was, uh, you know, realizing his own sin. Um, however, um, I want to point out also that. Um, the elders on Mount Athos keep prayer journals where they so, uh, sort of uh, list uh, their different experiences, how was their prayer like, and so on. Um, I tried finding these journals in English. I didn't have much success. If any of you know, uh, please let me know and I'll pin your comment. Um, uh, however, these are a bit different. You know, uh, they're like comprehensive uh, uh, opinions on uh, how their prayer went, what experiences they had, so they would, you know, essentially double check it, uh, their experiences with different prayer manuals, prayer books, uh, their sp spiritual fathers, and so on. Um, as with many similar questions, should I do this or shouldn't I do th that, uh, this is primarily a question for your spiritual father. Uh, your spiritual father, of course, may disagree with me, and uh, if he does, uh, he absolutely has precedence over uh, random YouTube opinion. And this goes on for any of my videos in general. So, that's that. Bye!